On an interlocking pavement driveway, I'm still going to use a geotextile fabric in a clay soil condition. Don't be confused by the aggregate you see here. This was a gradation amendment for the subgrade in addition to some chemical amendments we used. So we have a nice uniform excavation. So we're going to have a uniform freeze thaw. We're going to have a uniform bearing ability. And now we're going to protect that area with a good woven geotextile fabric that acts as a soil separator and gives us some bilateral tension ability. We're going to make sure it's tensioned by spiking it down in the corners with sod staples or stakes like this. Right? Make sure it's tensioned. And we're going to have a two to three foot overlap because of the clay soil condition. We're also going to make sure that our fabric is shingled so any water flow in this area will run down to our dimple drain board and run off into the environment. So a good woven geotextile fabric is a must on residential driveways on clay soil. Come on, bring this in guys. Okay, that's two feet. Nice and tensioned, I don't want any wrinkles in it. Okay, let's go over. Good. Two to three feet of overlap, shingled with the flow of water, a good woven geotextile fabric before I build my sub base.